Did you ever date a Democrat? Hell no. How come? Uh, what if she was just the greatest girl, the kindest, nicest, beautiful, uh, you know, want, uh, you know, had the same sort of social values as you, but she voted for Democrat? Maybe date her, but I couldn't marry and live with her. It's too much. <laughs> Is there a Democrat you could see supporting? Zero. Zero. Is, if President Biden were to walk... Why, why do we call them Democrats when they're Marxists? Why don't we call them what they really are? Well, I'm just talking about the, the parties. Who would you like to see run as a Democrat? I haven't given that. I don't think there's any any Democrat that's capable right now of running against Trump. I, I, I can't come up with anybody else. Because I was born and raised Democrat, and now I would never go back that way. Is there a Democrat you could see yourself voting for? No. Not a single one? Not a single one, because I don't think they're actually in control making their own decisions. Who is making their decisions? I think it all starts at the top with the Federal Reserve and who's actually controlling our country. But are Republicans making their own decision? I think Donald Trump is, absolutely. I think Pence went against it, but I definitely think that Donald Trump was making his own decisions. Pence went against what? I think Pence ended up either getting some sort of deal or something to get himself out of what he thought that he they were going to entrap them in, which obviously they had no proof because it never happened on January 6th, but him turning his back on President Trump was a huge disappointment to me. You say turn your back on President Trump, but didn't he turn his front toward the Constitution that day? I have a hard time with the last election because of how many dead people that voted, all the all of the videos that you can physically see them putting duffel bags of fake votes in there. It's hard for me to stand by the last election and say yes or no to certain things. So would you be okay with another Democrat, a younger Democrat? Um, it depends on who it is. <laughs> you know. Who would be on your good list? Uh, we like the Kennedy. Kennedy's, you know. Robert. RFK Jr.? Yeah. I just think he's a good guy. I think that he has, I like what he has to say. I think he will um, make a change for the better um, if it can't be Trump. <laughs> I do believe that this is America. This is a great country. And the way I see it headed right now under the Biden administration is, is where he's leading us down a dark path. You know, Biden, I hear repeatedly says this is a, a fight for the soul of our nation. And, you know, I, I stand back and I, I really look into that statement. And, <laughs> you know, I, I believe in my heart that, yeah, like the evilness that's occurring. Yeah. It is a fight for the soul of the nation, and we need to get it back to where it's good. And do you think President Biden's for the people? Absolutely not. In what way? Because of everything, all his policies that, he, that he's uh, implementing, it's not for the people. Look at the gas. I mean, every time I go to that gas pump, I get so upset inside. When Trump was president, gas prices were nowhere near this amount. It, it, it's getting to the point where people cannot survive. They're, they're getting two or three jobs to survive, correct? So, so again, like going back to income inequality, do you think there is income inequality that's an issue? Under Biden, is it an issue? Under, in America, under, forgetting who the president is, or do you think it's a, an issue in American um, hardship right now? Absolutely. I do believe it's a hardship, and I do blame it on the Biden administration. I do. You blame income inequality on the Biden administration? Absolutely. I do. In what way? <laughs> Again, well, the income, I mean, we can just look at it, right? I mean, it's the policies. It's all about the policies. And so do you think Biden has implemented policies to keep people down? Absolutely. 